This is going to be a video demonstration of the service provider operations that are required to onboard a tenant. This is where an SP decides what backup services and what type of SLAs to deliver to a customer. Here we're logging in as the SP and we're looking at the catalog. There are two different catalogs with three templates each. The gold catalog has uh, two different gold policies and then an ad hoc only policy. You can also see there's a silver uh, catalog where there's also three policies. And then on the right side, there's different schedules and retentions for those policies. So here we have a, an org that's signed up with the SP. Um, it's been added through vCloud Director already. And the first step to enable backup services is to click register. Once this is done, we can now go in and add a backup repository. This backup repository allows a tenant to consume uh, up to a certain amount of protection storage on a total and a daily basis. We also assign a, a shared data domain backend or a dedicated Avmar instance for this tenant. The next step is to create the policies. We started by showing the, the catalogs. So here you can see the templates. So we're going to select the gold template for this customer. We're also going to select the gold premium and then followed by that the ad hoc policy. This means that the customer is going to be able to choose between three different policies at their virtual data center level uh, for their virtual applications. The last setting we're going to do is actually the default setting for the policy. So we're going to select the gold policy as being the default, and this means that all virtual applications that get added under this virtual data center will be protected by default by the gold policy. Now we're flipping over to VCO because we're also showing how we can automate through REST operations the process that you saw through that tenant GUI or through the ESP GUI. Now VCO has uh, five workflows that we've built on the left side that are focused on the onboarding process and we've brought those together into one main workflow uh, to kick off everything. So we're going to start the main workflow. The first thing we're going to do is describe the, the REST host that we're using. So here we have uh, vCloud Director's API that we're pointed at, which is a REST API, uh, which is where we deliver our backup services through as extensions. We're also going to cho choose the organization that just signed up. So here we have another organization, this new org 2. And then the next screen, we're going to choose the virtual data center. So here's the org VDC2, or the second virtual data center of the, the new org. Uh, we're also going to choose authorizations. So you can see that we have five different authorizations for an org admin, and we also have vApp owner authorizations. So this is tenant and subtenant within vCloud Director. The next screen is uh, allowing us to choose the backup repository. So we're going to name it, uh, or choose the backup appliance and the backup store, uh, such as the, the data domain and the backend. We're then going to choose the catalog that the policies should come from. And then we're going to choose which policy out of those templates is going to be the default policy for the virtual data center. So this is really mirroring all those steps that were taken through the GUI, but done in one workflow. You can see that the workflow is executing in the background. And then on the left side, you'll see a, a green checkbox. Uh, this means that the workflow flow is complete. We can now flip back to the uh, service provider uh, GUI. And this is going to show us that we have the org registered as expected. It's also going to show us that we have three policies created and a default set to the, the one that we chose through the workflow. And we can also switch over to the repositories.